Hi everybody, um, my name is Raymond and today I'm going to be setting up a cage for my leopard tortoises. I have two big leopard tortoises here. Um, right now they're in a 20 gallon which is okay at this when they're this small. They're about the size of a half dollar. He's coming out to say hi. Um, they're okay for a little bit, not for long. They will grow according to how big their cage is. So the smaller the cage you keep them in, the longer they'll stay small. Um, what's ideal is to have them in a 40 gallon when they're this small, and then eventually go larger from there and have it, them outside. Um, now you don't want them out, outside uh, when they're too small. And the reason for that is, is birds will pick them up and eat them. So right now I'm just going to clean up um, what I currently have as their bedding, which is just a bunch of paper towels down here, which is great, it's clean. Um, you want to make sure if you do use paper towels that you get the all white, no dyes, that's not good for them. Um, if you want to put in a bedding, I strongly recommend putting in the Zilla bedding and litter. There is a sulcata tortoise right here. As a picture for it, it is great if they eat the bedding. It's not going to hurt them. It is actually healthy for them. Um, it's just made out of alfalfa, grass, like um, the substance. Um, so in this small cage, I'll put two bags of two five-pound bags. This way, if they want, they can burrow into it. Leopard tortoises get very large. Um, they can weigh more than 250 pounds. Um, they live for a very long time. So if this is something you are looking into getting. Make sure you have kids that love reptiles so that you can pass them on when you die. Um, the care for them is very, very simple. Make sure you have a, a thermometer in there. Um, now they can dig if they want. I use this here for their food, to put their food on so they can eat off of that. You can use anything like a um, a plastic lid, something shallow, so not too deep, um, so you can eat off of it. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, very basic, simple. And you want to make sure that you keep their temperature um, at least 100 degrees so that they can um, thermoregulate drawing that warmth and be able to move around and digest their food. Uh, one thing you'll want to do when you give them food is you'll want to dust it with calcium powder and vitamin powder. Um, and one thing you'll notice if you don't do that, they call it um, pyramiding. And what that is, is right here, this here part right here will look like little pyramids as they get older. Um, and that is their, their basic, um, kind of like a, a metabolic bone disease that you see in bearded dragons and other lizards. Turtles get it by having what they call pyramiding.